This way, let's go walk around our circle. Hello friends, Krista here, back with another weekend reading vlog. Thank you for stopping by Books and Jams today. I am back in my Friday happy place, the Botanical Gardens, yay! I am here with my little, my little buddy. It is his second birthday today, so that's kind of fun. We had some presents and things to open this morning. We've already been outside playing with bubbles. He got a new bubble blaster. He got these new little butterflies on a stick that I gave him to put all over his garden. We're giving one to the lady who does the story time here today. And now we're just sitting having our snack in our shady bench, looking at all the beautiful flowering trees and just listening to the water and getting ready for story time. It is going to be a good weekend. I really have nothing planned except a lot of reading. I have been kind of off reading this past week. I have not been reading very much. So I'm really hopeful that this weekend I get back into the swing of things. I'm reading a couple things, The Other Bennett Sister, by Janet Hadlow, Janice Hadlow. I'm reading Persuasion by Jane Austen. I'm reading, I don't know, what else? A couple other things that I've started. <laughs> oh, Jefferson's Sons by Kimberly Brubaker Bradley. And yeah, so I'm just gonna read a lot and hang out and get some cleaning done, possibly go to the beach tomorrow. It's supposed to be super hot though. I'm not sure I'm gonna wanna be outside, even at the beach, so we'll see. We'll see what happens. Come along for the ride. It's like 7.30 on Friday night. I'm looking a little rough and ready. <laughs> I just had a good rest, restful afternoon and an actual rest because my throat was starting to hurt me and I just was feeling really tired and run down a little bit. So I went and laid down in bed and had a little snooze -a but I am up now. It is 7.30. And I'm here to read for the rest of the evening. So I'm starting out with Cece's journal book two, Lost and Found. Um, I just was eating dinner, had taco salad for dinner and was reading this while I was eating dinner. There are three stories in this one. So I'm going to read the second story. I read the first story the other night. So I'm going to read the second story. I'm halfway through it. And then I'm going to switch over to the other Bennett sister. Um, the goal of this one is to read 50 pages a day. I only read 40 yesterday, but... It got late and I needed to go to bed, but I'm really enjoying this story, kind of the backstory or a, a, a deeper look into Mary Bennett from Pride and Prejudice. Really enjoying it a lot, which is good because I was a little bit intimidated by just the sheer number of words. Like the words are so small. <laughs> there's just a, there's just a lot of words on each page. And I think the audiobook is 18 hours. I don't have the audiobook. I'm going to read it in print. And it's over, it's almost 500 pages. It's like 465 pages or something. So it's kind of long, not too long, but I'm just really glad the chapters are super short and I'm, I'm really enjoying it so far. So it's not a fast read, but it's really good. So I'm looking forward to reading that tonight and spending some time with Mary Bennett. And I am doing intermittent fasting this week. My sister and I just started. I don't know when she started. I think we started on the same day because... I think we both started yesterday. So I have 30 more minutes to eat. So I'm going to eat a couple pieces of chocolate. I have some little mini York peppermint patties. <laughs> I'm going to eat a couple pieces of chocolate and that'll be it. Then I'm going to brush my teeth at eight o'clock because I'm not going to eat again until noon tomorrow. Yikes, that's going to be tough. But I think I decided I'm going to go to Second and Charles tomorrow. It's been quite a while since I've taken some books to Second and Charles. 
and I'm going to go through my Pango bookshop books and take some of them off the shop and take them to Second and Charles, get some, get some store credit for them and see what I can find. That'll be fun. Uh, so I'm going to do that in the morning. It's going to be super hot. So I was trying to think of something that's an indoor activity. Uh, and I think that'll be, that'll be fun since it's been quite a few months, like maybe six months or more since I've been to Second and Charles and it's my birthday month. So why not go buy some more books? <laughs> oh, golly. Treat yourself, right? All right. I'm going to get back to reading. The sprint is going, man, when I do sprints, I always do them relatively short. Everyone else seems to do them long. So I split it up and do different things. Um, so this sprint goes for another 30, another almost 30 minutes. Yikes. And it's been going on for a while. So anyways, I should be able to, to finish the second section of this during this sprint. Um, and then when they're chatting and stuff, I might go get a load of laundry started or whatever. I've just had a very chill day. I did go to the chiropractor. Love, 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 love my chiropractor. And I'm just taking it easy for the Friday. I'm totally down with that. I need to clean up some of this business <laughs> someday when I get the new shelves ah someday good morning friends happy Saturday I just got done doing a workout video and now I'm gonna go for a little walk it's already disgustingly hot outside so I think I'm just gonna do a mile or like a mile and a quarter I'm not gonna go for very long because it's toasty <laughs> it's really really hot already um so I should have probably put my contacts in but I don't feel like it but yeah, it's Saturday. I got a lot done. Not a lot. I got my pages read of The Other Bennett Sister last night, and I'm really enjoying that book. It's almost like a behind the scenes of Pride and Prejudice. It's so cool. Like, we're just getting to see the, the events and the characters from a different perspective, but it's still written with a very similar vibe to, to Pride and Prejudice. I don't think the language is quite exactly the same, but it feels like it fits together very well and I'm loving it. I'm loving it. So I'm going to continue to read that today. I will probably finish the third section of Cece's Journal book two and get that done today. And, and the third book I'm reading is Jefferson Sons. So I want to make some progress in that as well. Oh, I need to go get a headphone in so I can listen to something while I walk. I started listening to The Matzo Ball last night. It's a book I have out from the library. It's actually kind of a Christmassy book, but Christmas in July, why not? <laughs> Hello friends. It is now Saturday afternoon at like 1.30ish, 1.40. And I just got done doing some reading sprints for a couple hours with my patrons. I'm trying to do that a little bit more consistently than maybe once a month with them. We just got done doing that today. It was really nice to chat and hang out and then get some reading done as well. So today already I finished reading Cece's journal Lost and Found. So this is book two. Uh, in this graphic novel series, middle grade graphic novel series. And I also am giving this one five stars, just like the first one. Absolutely loved it. Brought me to tears, made me giggle out loud a couple times. Like, so beautiful. I love Cece. I love her relationship with her friends. I love her relationship with her mother. I love her love of mystery and wanting to investigate things. Uh, I loved that she actually is dealing with grief. She's a young girl, maybe 13 12 she just turned 12 I think and her dad passed away when she was four and so the third story in particular like it kind of runs through all the stories but in this book there are three stories and the third one in particular was really her and her mom finally having a conversation about the dad and and the feelings that that has brought up and and the things that she's holding on to and her grief and it really was I mean, brought me to tears. It was beautiful. So well done. It's like such an important topic for kids to think through and to, and to read about in a way that's totally fun. I loved by the end how all the stories that are in the two, two books were brought together. Oh, it just, it just made me so happy. It's definitely a huggable book. Definitely a huggable book. I am actually going to put these two on my wish list because I would love to own these two because I can see myself rereading them and sharing them with other people. Love, love, loved. Five stars. I also spent some time during one of the sprints. I went in and, and made breakfast slash lunch. I'm, I think I mentioned that I'm doing intermittent fasting with my little sister, with Rachel, uh, for this week, maybe beyond this week as well. But this week we're doing, um, we're using the, the app called daily fast. I think it's called daily fast. And it, we did the power, power week or 
weight loss week or something. There's a one week one that's, uh, it's a variety of times. Like it's not a set time, like finish eating at 8 PM. Don't eat again until noon. That's how it was for Thursday. And yesterday I stopped eating at 8 PM and then couldn't eat until noon the next day. So I've done that for two days. Now today I can eat all until 10 a.m. tomorrow and then nothing else tomorrow. Ooh, it's going to be really difficult. <laughs> Probably will end up taking a nap so that I don't have to think about food. But anyways, I went to go make breakfast during one of the sprints and uh, I'm listening to the matzo ball. I think I mentioned that this morning when I was walking. I was also listening to this um, by Jean Meltzer. And I wonder if Jean Meltzer is Jewish. Study dramatic writing. She spent five years in rabbinical school before her chronic illness forced her withdraw. Okay, interesting. This is her first novel. Okay, so it is from a Jewish author, which is interesting. So my one of my patrons is from Israel, and so she was sharing some of her thoughts on kind of issues that she has with the title and the idea, the premise of this book, The Matzo Ball. Um, so in this book, we do follow Jewish characters. Um, they were at a same camp together when they were 12 years old, and they're kind of each other's first love. But then something happened at the camp and they stopped talking and both of them had not talked to each other since then. But then the guy, J Jacob, um, Jacob and Rachel are the names of the characters. How funny. Um, Jacob is the a party planner and he's been living in Paris um, with his with his mother in France. And um, the mom passed away. He's coming back to New York to throw this big huge party and on the eighth day of Hanukkah called the matzo ball and high end fancy party uh and Rachel is an author keeps it hidden from her family because she likes to write Christmas romances <laughs> and has a Jewish girl who is also the daughter of a kind of famous rabbi in New York her her family and congregation would not be too thrilled about the idea of her writing Christmas romances but her uh, her publishing house and her agent have just approached her about them not really wanting another Christmas romance from her they want uh, Jewish and they want her to write it under her own name because she has been using a pen name so she is like Hanukkah is not that exciting like it doesn't have the ch the the glitz and the glamour and the charm and the um sparkle that Christmas does uh, for a lot of people. And so she is at a, her wits end trying to come up with an idea. And then she learns about this matzo ball. And then she learns that her arch nemesis slash first love is the one who's running behind. He's behind the whole ball. So she's trying to finagle her a way to get a ticket. It's been sold out for a couple months already. Yeah. So it's, it's cute. It's really fun. I'm, I'm about halfway through already. So I listened to that for a sprint today as well. And then in the, in the final shorter sprint that we did, I picked up the other Bennett sister, which I'm still really loving. I'm at the part where Collins has just come. Mr. Collins has just come to the house and everybody is, I mean, the dad just thinks he's a fool and the, the girls, the other sisters have just kind of written him off as unremarkable. And Mary is trying to understand him a little bit better and um, can look beyond some of his foolishness and potential uh, and sees him maybe as a potential mate for herself, who is also just looked down upon by the rest of her family because she's so plain. Oh, she's so mistreated. Not even mistreated, but just so ignored. She has kind of done it to herself. She's isolated herself. And um, once, once as a child, she learned that she's viewed as plain. It really changed her personality. And she just kind of, it's just really sad. Not in a tear-filled way, but just, a, oh, poor Mary. <laughs> but it's an interesting almost behind the scenes look at Pride and Prejudice. I think I said that before and I'm just really, really enjoying it. And it has short chapters though. So yay for short chapters. I'm really, really, really in loving that. Uh, but now I'm going to get up and get a little bit of makeup on, do something with my hair, probably throw it up because it's so hot outside um, and go to Second and Charles where I have a bag full of books ready to get exchanged. I'm going to turn those in and see how much store credit they will give me and do some book shopping. 
it's my birthday month why not <laughs> hey i'm sitting here at second and charles i just brought back my books and learned that i got 20 dollars of store credit or 19 something but i already had some carryover from before and have a total of 48 dollars but I think what I have here is more than $48. So I now have to decide which ones I'm going to get. So I have four middle grade, Breaking Stalin's Nose, Green, the second Green Glass House book, Prairie Lotus, and Genesis Begins Again. I have to see, I have to double check Goodreads if I have any of them. I don't think I do. Um, I might have Ghosts of Green Glass House. So I have to double check that. Then I, oh, this one is middle grade too. I got Jefferson Sons because it's out of print and so I will use this for a giveaway at some point. It's only 325, so regardless, I'm getting this one. That's a definite. Then I just have a whole bunch of mostly historical fiction. Let me flip the camera and just kind of show you what I have. House of Silence, this just sounds really good by Sarah Barthel. 1875. Um, I think it's like a historical romance. Z would fulfill my alphabet prompt that I need for Z, a novel of Zelda Fitzgerald. It's also historical fiction. I'm going to look it up on Goodreads and see, but it's only $2.50. So regardless, that should be able to get in the pile. Remember Me by Mario Escobar was on my want to read list on Goodreads. I think it's a Spanish... Spanish Civil War book, so it's kind of a different time period. The Power of One was also on my want to read list on Goodreads by Bryce Courtenay. This is a World War II. Um, I've heard good, yeah, I've heard good things about that one. Let's see. The House at the End of the Moor is kind of a random pick Christie Award. I think it's a historical romance, Christian fiction, Shiloh. Shiloh Press, I'm not sure, um, but that looked pretty good, 375. Sunflower Sisters was one of my anticipated reads last year, definitely want to get that one. Miss Benson's Beetle was on my want to read list. I have another book by Rachel Joyce, The Music Shop, and I think something else I own by her too. I love this cover, it's so cute. I love the bright colors. This is probably the most expensive one, it's 895. Um, but I'll take a look at that. I don't know. Passengers by John Mars. I liked the one by him. And so I always check if there are any other ones. 375 for this one. That'll probably go in my pile. A little bit of a thriller there. And then I got two Kate Quinn. I have loved her newer books. Um, I've read the Alice Network. I've read the Huntress and I read uh, the Rose Code. I just haven't read her very newest, The Diamond Die. But these are some older ones. Daughters of Rome and The Mistress of Rome. This one is $5.50 and this one is $3.95. So now I just need to take a look at this pile, go through Goodreads again, double check, you know, if I really want these books. It is my birthday month, so even if it's a little bit over 48, like I'm gonna aim for 50. If it's a little bit over, I'm totally fine with that. So I might be able to do all of them, but I'm gonna take a look and just double check and see see what I need to bring home. <laughs> I've decided. I am not going to get Genesis Begins Again. It's almost five dollars and I think I can find this someday later. I'm probably not going to read it anytime soon so I don't need to get this one right now and I can probably find it on audio through the library if I do get the urge to read it right away. I'm not going to get Remember Me. This is the Spanish Civil War one but this one is also $8.50 and I don't have the burning desire to get this right now. If it were 375, like many of the other ones, I would get it, but for 850, I think I can wait. And then the third one that I'm not gonna get is the second one in this series by Kate Quinn. I did look these up. The first one is Mistress of Rome. I will read that one first. If I like it, I can always come back and get the second one. This one is not as great condition as well. There's like a crease along the cover and, and I, can, I can wait. So I'm not gonna get those three, but I'm gonna get everything else. Oh, and I'm not getting Ghosts of Green Glass House because I already have that at home. Good thing I checked Goodreads. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Ten for me, and then one for a giveaway at some point. 
and I should end up paying about three dollars or maybe five I should end up paying about five dollars for these ten books once I use all my credits and you know what it's my birthday month let's do this giveaway right now so if you are interested in winning a copy of Jefferson's Sons write in the comments I want Jefferson Sons or somehow let me know that you're interested in this. I'm actually not gonna put giveaway in the title or anything. So this is a bonus for those of you who are just watching because you love me. <laughs> uh, if you're interested in this copy of Jefferson Sun, this book is out of print. You cannot get it from like new at bookstores anymore. So this is a used copy, but it really is in good condition. There's a little bit of pink on the, on the top there, just full honesty, right? But the rest of it, the, the corners are good. On, on both ends, there's no creases. There's no creases on the spine, just that little bit of pink on the edge there. So it's in really good condition. Jefferson Sons by Kimberly Brubaker Bradley. This is an American history. Thomas Jefferson um, had children with his slave, Sally Hemings, and this is their story. And I've heard that it's fabulous. It's a five-star prediction for me. I actually just started reading my copy the other day. So there's somebody, I'm gonna be done. <laughs> Well, the good news is I stayed under because I signed up for text to mobile or whatever it was called. And when you sign up, you get 10% off. So I got an additional 10% off. My total came to 46 something and I had 48 on my store credit. Yay, that made me so excited. And then as I was leaving, I stopped at all the tables of clearance things that I skipped on my way in because I was bringing my stuff to the, t to the desk to get checked or whatever all my books that I was returning or turning in and they had a whole bunch of tables of clearance books and all of the clearance books for were one dollar one dollar so I got seven clearance books that I'm not going to show you because all of them are for Christmas book exchange yay seven books in beautiful condition one of them was brand new and it was seventeen dollars it hadn't even been marked down brand new signed copy and it was $17, but it was on the clearance, so it was only $1. That's fantastic. That's exciting. So I'm excited about those. I'm not sure I'll even be able to use all of them, but even if I can't, I'll just try to sell it on Pango Books or, um, or bring it back here eventually, but that's exciting. So I got a bunch for myself, 10 for myself, one for a giveaway, and seven for Christmas Book Exchange. Yay, it's very successful and long. <laughs> it's now 545, I've been here for hours. <laughs> oh man, it's so much fun though. I love looking through the shelves. Sorry if you can hear my air conditioning. I'm trying to crank it so that it can cool down. My temperature on my car says 98 degrees. It's a very hot day today. I also finished listening to the matzo ball just now as I was waiting in line for the second time. Finished the matzo ball. Very cute story. Uh, sweet romance there's no there's no bedroom scenes whatsoever um kind of like second chance love the one thing like their their original story started when they were 12 years old and both of them it really like they were both hung up on this situation from camp when they were 12. I'm like man I had camp flings and like little camp romances and whatnot when I was 12 and none of them made a big impact on my life into into adulthood none at all not even remotely so it's just kind of a did that really affect them as much as they're making it out to because it was like a major impact on their lives i guess because of what happened maybe shortly after camp or whatever i don't know but it just seemed unrealistic to a degree that something that happened when they were 12 at camp like a one week sleep away camp affected them so greatly so I don't know, but whatever. It was a cute story, uh, very cute. And I enjoyed it, so that was fun. That was fun to listen to. But now I'm gonna go home and read some more of The Other Bennett Sister. I may listen to a podcast on my way home or I might start another audiobook. I'm not sure. I'm gonna look in my Scribd and in my Libby and see what I've got. See if I wanna start something new or just listen to a podcast. But I'm very pleased with the success of that second and Charles trip. Do I want to get some food on my way home now? That is the question. I'll have to think about that. <laughs> Good morning. Happy Sunday. 
I am at church. I have a handful of kids already over there playing. I try to do my hair curls today. It, this side just never wants to do it. I don't know. Um, I am, hey. I am, have been listening a lot of, to a lot of literature and lattes. I listened to quite a bit last night while I was um, eating dinner and stuff. And then I listened to quite a bit this morning while I was out and about getting stuff for church. And so I might finish that one today <laughs> because when I get home today, I am going to be doing all of my to-do list that I haven't done yet this, this weekend. So I'm gonna be working on cleaning my room and cleaning the bathroom and a bunch of other things. I need to run to the grocery store. So I have a lot of things to do where I can still listen to an audiobook. Yay. Um, but yeah, I have church now for a little while. We're gonna be doing some bubble painting. I might get a clip of that. I'm excited for that. And I will check in with you later. Bye. All right, it is now 1.15 and I really need to leave church, but I forgot to take a video when we were doing the bubble painting, so I'll just show you. One of the kids left theirs here. And it looks like this. You make a cup, you make bubbles in it, and you put, blow it with a straw, and then you put this on top of it and it makes a print. It's very pretty. We had fun doing that today. So, and I just did a little bit of work that I needed to do, sent the lesson to next week's person, and now I need to go home. <laughs> Yay. It is now two o'clock. I am back home in comfy clothes. Braided some of my hair to get it up. I probably will put this in a ponytail at some point, but I just sat and listened to more of, of literature and lattes. I'm on chapter 26. I only have this, I only have this little bit left to go. Yay. Uh, but I'm going to listen to that while I am on a cleaning sprint. Right now I'm going to start some sprints. <laughs> so I'm going to set my timer for 15 minutes and I'm going to read, maybe I'll do 20 minutes. No, I'm too, t I'll fall asleep. I'm going to do 15 minute sprints. So I'm going to read some of the other Bennett sister and then get up and go clean in my bedroom, clean the bathroom, get some stuff knocked off of that to-do list that I have and possibly at some point take a nap because the intermittent fasting today is basically no food. So I had a, a really big breakfast, like avocado toast with cheese and an egg and some turkey bacon. Like I made a lot of food for breakfast and then I ate a Pop-Tart right at 10 o'clock or right before 10 o'clock because I could eat until 10 and then nothing until tomorrow. So I'm in the midst of a big one. <laughs> it's like a it, this week is a power week. So it's just meant to shake things up in my in my body. So we'll see how it goes. Uh, but it will get difficult, especially around dinner time. I'm okay right now, but I can drink as much water as I want. I can put lemon in my water. I'm going to do that. I don't know if I'm supposed to put lemon in my water, but I'm going to just to make it feel like I'm having... I don't know, something fun. <laughs> but yeah, hoping hoping to get some stuff knocked out of my to-do list and also make up my pages for this. I did not read all my pages yesterday, so I'd, I'd like to get a good chunk of that read today. I may also start Thursday Murder Club because that book club chat is next Sunday, so I might start that at some point today. I'm going to see if there's some sprints going on tonight. And also I need to film because I have nothing filmed for this coming week. So I'd like to film a video or two. Yeah, that's my plan. That's my plan for the day. So you might see a lot of me sitting in this chair today. I do not think that I'm going to go for a walk because it's about 100 degrees outside. It's very, very hot and sticky outside. So Today's a rest day as far as working out goes. <laughs> Super exciting Sunday. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> I just thought I would do a check-in. It is almost 5.30 now and I have an hour and a half left of this one. Um, I've made it through a handful more chapters. Um, it's super cute. It takes place in the same town as the Printed Letter Bookshop and follows a lot of the same characters. Uh, not quite exactly the same characters, but some of them we see again, which I like. And it's just very sweet. There's a mother-daughter relationship that is pretty fraught that is at the center of it. But also there's a little bit of a romantic relationship that I'm enjoying as well too. So it's just very sweet. And we're following a coffee shop a little bit more than the bookshop like we did in the first one. So very cool and gorgeous cover. Perfect kind of summery, relaxing, heartwarming read. 
I'm not sure what's going on with my wings. I've got crazy wings today. Holy moly. <laughs> and then I'm also, I've also been making good progress on the other Bennett sister. We just got to the point where Netherfield um, had their ball. Um, the, the Bingleys had a ball at Netherfield. And that's when, or no, yeah, Collins was there um, being totally embarrassing, introducing himself to Darcy and... Mary had convinced herself that Collins might be the man for her. So she was trying to impress him. And that is why she played and sang. <laughs> um, but then she was mortified because her dad came and stopped her and walked her away from the piano, which was just humiliating for her. So poor little Mary. I definitely have a different view of Mary after reading this. And it makes me want to reread Pride and Prejudice. I know Mary is not a major part of that one. Maybe even more so in the adaptations than in PNP itself. But I I think it's so far... It, it puts me in mind of Wicked the Musical with the, sound, um, with the Wizard of Oz. How you just see everything from a totally different perspective without the original story changing. And that's kind of what's happening here. The original story is not being changed at all. And we're just seeing things from a different viewpoint. And I love it. I love it. It also has very short chapters. Have I said that? I love short chapters. So I'm still not even up to yesterday's pages. I'm at 134. And I was supposed to get to 150 yesterday. And then I'm supposed to read 50 pages today. So I'm a little bit behind where I would like to be at this point. But um, it's only 530. I've got lots of time to read. I'm participating right now with sprints. Uh, Keisha from A Book Like You is doing sprints this afternoon. So I'm on her sprints. And I'm not like live on the sprints, but I'm participating in the chat and sprinting with them. I have cleaned off the top of my toaster oven. I have cleaned in my bedroom for a few minutes. I put a couple stacks of books away from the other room. Uh, I did not film anything because I'm not loving my hair today, <laughs> but I need to film. Oh man, this will go up tomorrow or Tuesday. So I do have a little bit of time. I can film tomorrow night if I want to. It's just so hot today. I don't want to do anything. And I'm a little cranky because I haven't had any food since 10 a.m. So that's annoying, but... <laughs> It is what it is. I still need to clean the bathroom. I still have, I'm making progress on my to-do list. I do not think I'm going to complete it like I did last weekend, but I'm going to make good progress. I'll show you the end result whenever it's done. But back to it. Here we go. All right. It's time for me to go to bed. <laughs> it's 945 and I'm pretty pleased with how much of my to-do list I got done today. Here's the picture of it. Um, still some things I can finish up in going into the week and then I'll just add to the list for next weekend. I did just finish listening to Of Literature and Lattes and I really want to move to Winsome. Like I want to live in a small town where everyone kind of knows each other and supports each other. It was very sweet. Very sweet. It kind of left the door open at the end for a third book in this series. I'm not sure if that's gonna happen. I didn't do any research to look that up, but right at the end it kind of left the door open for a potential third couple. So it's kind of a companion series to Printed Letter Bookshop. It definitely happens in order, but you follow, the main people that you follow are a little bit different. Like you were introduced to them in the first book, but I can already guess who a third book would be following based on how that last chapter went. But it was just talking about found family and supporting each other and forgiveness, redemption. It was really beautiful. I really loved it. Uh, I probably would give this four stars. Four stars. And then I made it to the end of part one of the other Bennett sister. So I am going to read this a little bit more as I go to bed. I am going to try to go to bed a little early because I'm hungry. <laughs> That's the only reason I'm hungry. Oh man. Intermittent fasting is not super easy. Also this weekend, what else? Oh, I finished Cece's journal book too. I finished the matzo ball and I finished of literature and lattes. And then I read a good chunk of 
other Bennett sisters. So altogether, very productive reading weekend. And I went to the used bookstore and brought some books back and got some new ones. All in all, very productive time, even though it was relaxing and hot, hot, hot outside. But that is going to be it for me. <laughs> I hope that you enjoyed this vlog, seeing some pictures of the gardens again. It's nice to be back there this week and just catching up with my reading. That's all. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you spending some time with me. It really means a lot to me that you take some time of your day to hang out with me. And I look forward, oh, 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 before I go, don't forget if you're interested in Jefferson Sons, let me know in the comments because I will send one of you that by next week. So one week from today, which will be Monday, August 1st. On August 1st, I'll pick a, pick a winner from everybody who comments that they are interested in the book. So definitely let me know if you're interested in receiving a copy of that out of print book. I'm very thrilled that I found it and can send it to one of you. And I was very close to 8,000 subscribers today. I haven't checked tonight. It might already be there. Earlier today, it was 7,999. So yay for that. I probably will do some other kind of giveaway or something fun. If you have an idea of something fun that you would like to see from me, let me know. But that's exciting. It's very exciting. All right. I've always ramble on at the end. <laughs> Let's chat down in the comments. You guys know I love talking with you down there about the books that I read this weekend or anything else you want to talk about. And I look forward to talking with you in another video very soon. Bye.